Hello, so this video will be about my experience playing volleyball at Corona Del Mar High School or CDM. So for those of you who don't know the school, it's in Newport Beach and the program has just done very well for many years. Maybe one of the best. Newport Harbor might have more national championships in CIF, but Corona Del Mar is always good and I think there's better. Um, <laughs> But that's because of the culture that was that was there. So the culture at CDM was very different than 9 for 9. 9 for 9 was way more laid back. Um, guys would miss practice. And it was just more chill. CDM was not like that. Even though we had four of the same guys, Kevin, uh, Kevin Cobran, Patrick Progress, and Brandon Browning, and myself, uh, culture was very different. And it's because of our coach. So... He just like held us to a very high standard. And at the time, I did not like it. Well, I didn't like aspects of it. I liked that he made us work hard, but I just thought it was a little too much. But looking back, it was actually really good. He taught us just responsibility and like what it's like to be a man. Um, so, for example, at CDM, you had to be 10 minutes early to every practice. So if you were nine minutes early you were late and he would tell you to go home for games. We had to be there like two and a half, three hours early. And if you were a minute later, you would be sent home. And our coach did not care if it was the biggest game of the year. He was pretty much like it was on you. Like you should have been here. So get there early so you can put your socks on and we would have to wear ankle braces and knee pads. So just kind of the, the standard that he set from the beginning. Every practice, we'd start with just a regular warm-up, a few laps, and dynamic stretching. And then we would run three to four dive lines or suicides with push-ups and sit-ups in between. So that was, like, pretty hard. He would make sure that we'd run our fastest. And then right after that, we'd go into different variations of pepper just constantly. So, like we're peppering and we're like so out of breath sometimes i'm like dizzy and like could barely see but he's like okay when you're in the game and you're tired you're gonna know how to control the ball <laughs> so we did i thought it was great um sometimes it sucked <laughs> but we do that every day for practice and we have like three four hour practices sometimes it's kind of wild four to five times or five to six times a week is a lot <laughs> i'm just remembering it i actually miss it like i have not experienced a team that was that intense um, since then and i actually i really liked it looking back on it okay what else every every practice he would make sure we're working our hardest like we're going hard in practice. We're talking like every moment we're going hard. Uh, and then when he would call us in for a huddle, we'd sit down and we'd make sure to not talk when he's talking, which is something a lot of coaches just let kids get away with is like making comments and stuff while the coach is talking. He would not allow that at all. He would tell us to go home. Um, yeah, it's like if you, if you, forgot your jersey or something to a game you just wouldn't play like he just had the standard and he, and he held us to it he actually followed through with the consequences um, so that culture was instilled I think by him he was there for like 20 something years and it was just passed down so like as soon as we stepped into the team I came late I actually transferred from a different high school I'll make a different video about video about that it's like right away you get there and it's Okay, you understand the atmosphere and you understand the culture. But I think he he knew he could get away with really pushing us because it was we because it was worth it for us. The games were so fun. We wanted to play. The games from CDM, I I still to this day I've never experienced an atmosphere like that and and fans like that. Like I actually miss it. Uh, everyone would come to our biggest games and it's like everyone you know from high school and just unfiltered children just going crazy and they're right there on this on the sideline and it was 
it was truly, truly special. I remember my first Battle of the Bay, looking from the locker room or looking from the, the closet outside and seeing all the people. I'd never played in front of that many people. I remember being nervous. But as soon as you start playing, you forget about it. And you go. So that's a little bit of my experience. Um, I'll make another video talking about why I transferred to CDM and just kind of that whole process. Um, but overall, I I loved I loved CDM. Looking back on it, the coach and I definitely had some had some battles, and I've had some internal battles too. But it was great. It was really really fun.